Well, we're here at beautiful West Point. Uh, just uh, to talk about, see some of the work that has been done and continues to be done with regard to shoreline protection. A lot of this beach, I know over time, has been washed away, eroded through some of the significant storms that we've seen. At the time when we started working here, there was very little beach left. We were kind of right up to the lighthouse, up to the parking lot, up to the campground. It was eroding right up to the campsites and the provincial park was actually losing some of their campsites. But once we build these reefs, um, the water still gets in, it goes over top of the reefs, but it removes that energy. That'll promote sand accretion. It'll actually build the beach back out towards the reef, so it'll reinstitute the beach in that area. It's going very well here. This is kind of a two-phase project, and the first phase was very successful, which involved kind of cutting-edge coastal engineering, and it's kind of the wave of the future. We're trying to get away from hard engineering, where we're just armoring shorelines and rebuilding natural beaches and shorelines that have much more resilience to coastal storms and climate change. It's important because in a place like West Point, this whole shoreline would be gone eventually. The infrastructure, the park, the campground, the beach would be gone or very much different. It's one of the things that uh, the provincial government, that our government has realized and taken action on, is just the absolute need of shoreline protection. And this area right here is an excellent example of it. Certainly there's others. Uh, the partnership that we have with Mr. Stewart and his company to get the work done here at West Point. We built five offshore reefs in uh, 2021 and there's two more this year. We always look for year-round work for our guys and uh, it was a tendered process but it, it's something we wanted because it was close and it was in our wheelhouse I guess. Why we build in the winter is because we're working in coastal habitats that have various species that are species at risk or endangered species like piping plover, bank swallows. So we stay away from times where they're nesting or migrating. A lot of reasons actually. I mean, one's just obvious. There's nobody around. The tourists aren't visiting this time of year, but it's, it's a lot easier for the contractor to work in the winter. Things are a little more stable. You don't have the wave action. You don't have to work around the tide. So everything's just a little more stable. Uh, for all the machinery and, and the gear. Post-construction monitoring of these phases is very important. It gives us a lot of information on how successful it is and what we may have to modify in the future. I like that it's a unique project. At the Department of Transportation, a lot of our stuff is around roads and intersections and stuff like that. This is something a little different. After Fiona, it was a big test whether it was gonna stand up and it did, so that was pretty cool to see. Oh, I think it's important. Like. There's a lot of families use the park and use the lighthouse and uh, it was a community effort to put most of that stuff here so I think it's it's important that it stays. It's so important to have this for future generations too. You know, whether it's for our children, whether it's for our grandchildren, and certainly as those that uh, come to PEI as tourists. But we had the great fortune to be able to enjoy, but future generations will be able to enjoy as well.